previously on Overlord Raising Hell. Hello everyone, welcome back to Overlord Raising Hell. Today we're continuing through the Mellow Hills Abyss. I know, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Almost forgot about this place, didn't we? But now that we have all four types of minions, we should be able to get through here without any issue. Barring, of course, the issue of my incompetence. We'll see. Oh, the killer pumpkins seem to be gone still, so that's always good. Oh, well, up until here, where we couldn't deal with them because of the water. Come on. Alright. Oh, okay, well. We'll do that. See what we can find. Okay, that's nothing. But I'm sure there would be a way to bring the rest of them over. Is that it? I obviously need the reds to get through that. Turn the wheel, please. Harflings! How dare there be Harflings! Come along. There's a bridge here. There they go. Alright. Now, let's tear this place apart. Especially that place. Come along. Right, what's up here? Scarlet color palette starting to play havoc on my eyes. Yeah. This area is starting to look like Halfling Homes in Melvin's Kitchen. Oh. It's the tormented spirit of Melvin, sire. Looks like he's getting all the food he could ever wish for down here. Disgusting. Oh, that flesh wobbling from side to side. Oh, it's almost hypnotic. Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> That's the way to end a meal. Oh, there he goes again, blowing up and reincarnating like that must hurt like <laughs> hell. <laughs> Indeed. Melvin just can't seem to stop himself. Well, oh, I suppose that plays into the definition of what this abyss is. Never-ending torment for the glutton himself. Let's put him out of his misery, shall we? I'm feeling benevolent. Come along, Tubby. Oh, where are you going? Am I supposed to be following you? Just lying about. 
supposed to be stopping him? Understand. Oh, the, oh, bloody hell. Burn them all. Oh, that's not helping. Oh, there's someone left. Oh, this is horrid. Oh, this is rubbish. All right, let's retreat for a moment. Hello again, Melvin. Pumpkins. Jeez. Shut it. They're all up here now. Destroy the pumpkins. Alright, so this doesn't seem to be a viable option. What's over here? So he will come over here. She's after that platter with his bulbous self. Oh, okay. So I'm supposed to take out this one myself. Stupid pumpkins. There we go. Now all of you clear out. Seriously, are they that hard to get rid of? I say that as they take out half my life. Just do it, seriously. I don't have the patience for it. I suppose it has more to do with how they're distributing themselves. Wish they would coordinate their attacks better automatically, but... Is that all of them, finally? Browns. 
see you there. with this then. Now I moved that. Let's see what it actually does. I can use that to get rid of the platters and to drive him more quickly along certain paths. I'll take that one down. Oh, come on, where'd he go? He's usually just gonna stand there. Maybe I have to have them out. So if we bring that one back down... Avoid the burning halfling. Or are you not going to move because there's nothing here? Okay, that seems to be partly it, at least. So now he's moving down this way. We want him to go to the right. Leave. Okay, so now he's going that way. Let's see what happens. Anything? No? Yes? No? What are you doing? Explain to me your thought process. Oh, okay, you're just trying to kill me now. Hmm. Can I bring the great glutton more food? No, seems not. Hmm. Oh, stop that. So I can't do anything to him. The point is trying to feed him exactly enough to get him to explode on that spot. I suppose if we can assume that this makes him explode. Aha! Okay. So, I think we just need to make him explode up there to take down that wall. Browns. Greens. Browns. Why I need to rebalance my team here, I don't know. Regardless. Come along. 
All right, well. To reset this one, so it's actually got food on it. Somehow. Yes, there we go. Okay. So now he's going to that. And I need to remove that one so he'll go there first. Come on. Make sure it doesn't come back for some reason. This one back. Give him a wide berth, man. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Progress at last. What's this doing? Oh, good. Now I can carry him along that way. Find a potion somewhere around here. I can turn that off. Alright, you come along this way. See if we can't figure out where to make you explode this time. here. Uh, I think there must be some kind of mistake, sire. You couldn't have a word with someone, could you? Oh no, no mistake. Best use for sheep, sire. I think I can hear Melvin drooling from here. So it's at this point that he wants to explode. And my wife said she could never get me in the kitchen. So I need to get him a little further. All this cooking, it's like home, only appetizing. Seriously, mate. I can't call anything about this appetizing. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay. Well, it's being difficult. And he apparently keeps exploding there, so I guess I have a bit of a time limit then to work on. Operate with me here. Best use for sheep, sire. I think I can hear Melvin drooling from here. So now, hopefully, he'll. Aha! Bring that me, platter is moved. Up an apple in my mouth and serve me to Melvin. You deserve it. Lots for your minions to destroy down here, Lord. Just, uh, not me, please. My wife said you could never get me in the kitchen. Oh, what the heck? Hmm. Well, I was apparently far too close to that. They're gonna cook me! Get me back to my home and I'll give you something for your little chaps. Oh, indeed, will you? Well. I think we'll explore more of this twisted version of Melvin's Kitchen and the Halfling House in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much.